The feet are a really important part of Digit. It's how it contacts the ground. It doesn't matter how sophisticated the robot is or the controller is if the feet are sliding around. The tread design and the rubber compound selection are both fairly technical. What we thought we'd do is ask Vibram for a little bit of help, maybe lend us their expertise, all in an effort to make the robot more uh, stable and more durable. While Vibram is known for high performance outsoles and midsoles, we normally work with humans. That's going to be our main consumer base. But uh, every once in a while we get lucky enough to work with animals and machines, robots, things like that. The first question I had was what was the gait of the robot? How did it walk? Did it have a heel strike, a toe strike? So figuring out the motions of the robots and seeing how similar they were to what we knew about human footwear uh, was kind of the first consideration. So Vibram was incredibly helpful in making some of these decisions. Um, they gave us a handful of design options. We decided how the robot's going to be walking on these, so what was most important about the tread design. So it's great to have Vibram's expertise in telling us this is, this is exactly what you need. It's been a great opportunity to work with Agility Robotics, not only for us to see the advancements that have been made to robots, but to see how we can implement the uh, innovations that we use to build our high-performance technologies for grip, traction, and durability. So the new tread design and the rubber both let the robot work quite a lot better in a warehouse-style environment. The robot's not slipping around anymore, even on dusty, polished concrete. So in, in that way, it was a huge success.